Thanks for joining me. We're going to take a look at the new rich content editor and especially adding documents uh, using the rich content editor. So with the icon that we're going to choose is the one that looks like a piece of paper. So we're going to select that. You've got three options. When you do that, you can upload a document that you've never added to Canvas, one that you've added to the course, and one that you've added to your user account. Um, so if I had already added a document to the course, I could select that. And maybe it's a PDF that I have. Maybe it's a PowerPoint. Maybe it's just a Word doc. But then I can select that. And now that has been added. Um, let's say that I need to upload a document that uh, is on my computer. So I'm going to hit Upload Document. I can either drag and drop that file here, or I can click to browse the computer. Um, and then I could find whatever document that is. We'll pick this one. Actually, this one, we'll pick a PowerPoint. And now we will add um, this PowerPoint onto our page as well. So we've added a PDF, we've added a PowerPoint, and now I'm going to hit Save. Um, you'll see that from once it's saved here that they can then, there's a little arrow pointing down for the PDF that they can download that. For the PowerPoint, it'll give them a preview with that icon that was next to it. And then I can go through the PowerPoint. Um, you'll see that it's pulling up here. And I can go through this PowerPoint. So easy to add something like that. Um, now, I, I don't necessarily suggest using uh, adding a PDF this way. I think that there's a better way to do it. And that would be to add it directly into a module, add the file into a module. But you can just add it on here and have it as a downloadable link. But you can see adding a PowerPoint is actually pretty nice. Um, with that preview button, again, you can minimize that preview, but it's right there. It looks like a magnifying glass. And when I select it, it'll pull up the PowerPoint, and then I can um, search through that. So pretty nice that you can just add documents directly into uh, the rich content editor, or you can pull ones that were from the course or from your user account already in Canvas. So there you go. There's your quick look at the new rich content editor, specifically with how to add documents.